there have been more versions of the Avengers than there are stars in the universe. Like every two comics, there are another multiverse version of these colorful pesticides that just come out of the comic book liver, and today is no different, because after the Fantastic Four got sucked into a portal and got transferred to a different world, they came across the Dinosaur Avengers and realized that by meeting them, their worlds may be destroyed in the Fantastic Four comic series. So this Harry Potter book starts with the Fantastic Butt Plugs heading off to visit the Thing's friend's house, because it's been a long time since these goobers have hung out, played chess, and eat ass, and they just wanted to catch up and introduce him to the team. And after talking about school and degrees, which is something I hate talking about more than eating onion, the Thing's friend also asked the four for a little bit of assistance. So they were walking down a forest and showed these Girl Scouts a blue portal that just appeared out of nowhere, and he tried to throw a few rocks in there to see what would happen, but they just all disappeared. So Reed, this idiot, decides to dip his nose into this portal to see whatever it is this goober is trying to see inside this cloud. But it turns out, he tested his luck a little too much because the portal got bigger and sucked everyone inside. And on the next page, we get some sneak peeks, a little striptease from some familiar faces who say that they capture some people that they have never seen before and have them in a cage. And these people are the Dinosaur Avengers. And since dinosaurs and humans speak another language, everything that the Fantastic Four are saying is just gibberish. But eventually, these Smurfs broke out of their timeout corner and started fighting the Avengers. For example, the Human Torch tried to fry Iron Man, but he sent those hot wings right back. Invisible Woman was about to get hit by Thor's hammer, but she sent that back as well. Then Cap lost possession of his shield that is the size of Mars, gave it to the Thing, and protected himself from the hammer suits chucking at him and caused a massive lightning orgasm. And now that the Avengers are down, it's time for Reed to do some tinkering. So this goober goes inside Iron Man, messes with his machine a little bit, and I don't know how, nor do I know how this makes sense, but because of this Iron Man suit tinkering, everyone in this world apparently now speaks English, which doesn't make sense, but anything is possible if you have a pen, paper, and the imagination of a water bottle. But yeah, everyone is now doing icebreakers, they cleared up some misunderstandings, they talked about each other's worlds, and apparently the Fantastic Four of this world got transferred to the real world, and they're going to have to try to figure out how to fix this soon. But the thing is that the portal that they used to bazooka blast to each other's worlds have disappeared for now. So these bubble guppies decide to just have some fun here. So Iron Man called up the kids of the Dinosaur Fantastic Four to meet the Human Fantastic Four, which is kind of adorable to see and makes me want to ejaculate tears from my eyes. And then Iron Man decided to take these guys on a tour around the city. But here's the thing. Mr. Fantastic wants to get some information regarding how this world works. So he asked for this world's fine structure constant, density parameter, their IP addresses, their Xbox Live password. And after getting this information from Iron Man, he came to this conclusion. So both the human and dino worlds are very different in terms of evolution. But despite this, they both ended up in the exact same stage in time. And since they are so similar to each other, these two universes are trying to merge. And the moment they do merge is when a portal appears, which means their universes are trying to destroy each other. And the only way to fix this problem is by, get this, blasting the two universes apart. That's right, Iron Man is going to piss out some repulsive power raid out of his suit in hopes that it can move an entire universe that is more dense than a little girl's skull. But anyways, that's what they did. So the portal opened and Reed was sending his team away while keeping Iron Man in position and blasting away at the other universe. Until all of a sudden, both Tony and Reed got hit by some green mucus and it turns out it was a Doctor Doom T-Rex ready to stomp on the party and make sure that these two universes do make out with each other. And yeah, that's it. Bye.